Ryan Zlicky reporting for EPWPerth.com. The countdown to reawakening, it snuck up on us. It's only a few days away and big news just breaking this week. A match has been announced for the show. It will be AZ Vergara and Damian Slater fighting for one of the final spots in the NWA tournament happening November 23rd and 24th right here in Perth WA. It's going to be a huge show. Don't believe me? Check this out. Direct from the USA, the National Wrestling Alliance invades the city of Perth for a massive night of high-flying, bone-crunching, hard-hitting pro wrestling action. Get ready for a wrestling extravaganza as wrestlers from around the world go head-to-head -head against the best in Australia. For Perth, get your tickets from all Ticketmaster outlets. Phone 136 100 or online at ticketmaster.com.au. For Bunbury, tickets are available at the Southwest Sports Centre, located at 1 Rotary Drive in Bunbury, or phone 0422 198 120. Or for more details, head to nwapro.net. Proudly sponsored by 95.7 Hot FM. Of course, you can get more details from nwapro.net. But right now, let's talk about Reawakening 6, the triple main event. First up, Shane Hayes putting the EPW title on the line against number one contender, Bobby Marshall. Then, Devlin Reeves meeting Spike Steele. And not a Spike Steele challenge, but a Devlin Reeves House of Pain match. He'll be by to tell us a bit more about that later on. And of course, Davis Storm and Jimmy Payne, two of the founding forefathers of EPW. Once a great team, now bitter enemies once again. Joining me, Jimmy Payne, to tell us a bit about this best two out of three falls matchup happening. Ricky, that's the match that's coming ahead for me at Reawakening. Now, Reawakening means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But to me, this Reawakening, it's about pride and it's about reputation. This isn't about me losing my title. This isn't about, that. that isn't why I've got issues with David Storm. The reason I've got issues with Davis Storm is because no matter who I beat when I was champion, no matter the fact that I was the longest reigning champion in EPW history, 15 months, 15 months. there was an assumption that he was the leader of the four Now, because we were in that little clique, we were in the four fighters together, we didn't get the chance to face each other, and there's still the assumption going around that he's number one. And reawakening for me, it's about proving that I'm the best wrestler. It's about proving that I am number one. That's what it's about to me. And that's what I'm going to show everybody a reawakening six. Go. Jimmy Payne, uh, David Storm, one on one, best two out of three falls matchup. Reawakening is the biggest explosive pro wrestling show of the year. Reawakening 6, it's happening this weekend in Maylands. It's gonna be huge Saturday night. It's the place to be. You can still get your tickets. I guarantee you, the biggest explosive pro wrestling show of the year. I don't guarantee much, but I can tell you this one's gonna be huge. And there is that triple main event. The EPW title on the line. Jimmy Payne and David Storm, as we saw, is gonna be massive. And of course, Spike Steele and Devlin Reeves in a House of Pain match. A lot of people have been asking us, sending emails, writing in through the message board, wanting to know what a House of Pain match is. Well, who better to explain it than Devlin Reeves himself? People have been asking me what a Devlin Reeves House of Pain match is all about. Well, I'm here to explain. You see, it's quite simple. We're going to take four poles and connect them to each corner of the ring. And on those poles, we're going to hang weapons of my choosing. On the very first pole, I thought it would be fitting to hang the very street sign 
that Spike Steele nailed me with at the last show. On the next poll, I'm going to put a favourite weapon of mine hanging will be a pair of handcuffs on the third an EPW favourite, a steel chair. And for the very last one, I thought of a weapon that EPW has never seen before, a barbed wire baseball bat. So come reawakening, Spike Steel, you better bring your game, because there'll be nowhere to run, there'll be nowhere to hide. You see, we're going to see who the real hard in EPW is. Reawakening 6 happening this weekend, just a few short days away. Let's talk about how big it's going to be and run through the matches for this show because they are just massive. In action, Mana taking on Chris Vice and Richter in a three-way dance. Damien Slater and AC Vergara will be fighting it out for the last spot in the NWA tournament happening right here November 23rd. Then, of course, the EPW tag team titles will be on the line as the defending champions, Azazel and Ferguson Block, defend them in a tables elimination matchup. Four teams and a lot of tables. That is going to be huge. Then, at long last, Jack Burbank will be getting his hands on the man who shaved his head, Brad West as he steps into the ring for the very first time in action. That is going to be a very interesting matchup. And that brings us to our triple main event. Three huge matches. Davis Storm taking on Jimmy Payne in a best two out of three falls matchup. Devlin Reeves taking on Spike Steele in a Devlin Reeves House of Pain match. And then Shane Hayes defending the EPW title against the number one contender, Bobby Marshall. Reawakening 6, you cannot afford to miss it. You'll be kicking yourselves for weeks. It's going to be an absolutely massive show, and I hope to see each and every one of you there. My name's Lukey, reporting for EPWPerth.com. I'll see you Saturday in Maylands.